Chris Hemsworth regrets it all when it comes to working with Woke Marvel, and can you really blame him after the horrific train wreck which was Love and Thunder, which was so bad and got destroyed by every metric available that even Chris Hemsworth has been red-pilled by how much of a disaster the current MCU is, and he has even got gotten to the point where he is even having second thoughts about ever returning to playing Thor, which is just insane. Do you guys remember the time when actors would actually, that was kind of the golden ticket, right? Being in a Marvel film. That was what all actors were striving for, and that is just not the case anymore after Marvel has gone completely off the cliff. So Chris Hemsworth regrets Love and Thunder. The actor who played the God of Thunder eight times in the MCU says he became a parody of himself. That is how bad things are, where he is saying that he became a parody of himself. That is a major yikes for Chris Hemsworth, it is a major yikes for Marvel. So let's, let's get into the comments here and see what he has to say. While promoting the upcoming release of Furiosa and Mad Max Saga, Chris Hemsworth opens up about playing Marvel's Thor and has some regrets. Similar to previous comments, Hemsworth says he regrets playing a goofy Thor. Which, yeah, I mean, when I was watching Love and Thunder, I was just cringing the entire time just from sheer embarrassment for, for Marvel, for, for Chris Hemsworth, and everything. And even just for being in the theater myself, to be completely honest. So this is what he had to say. I got caught up in the improv and the wackiness, and I became a parody of myself, he told Vanity Fair in an interview. I didn't stick the landing. Hemsworth's uh, Thor started out as the badass god of thunder, but transformed into the god of goofiness. However, the actor reveals he was also doubting and questioning Marvel's original approach to the character seen in the three Thor films and the Avengers movies, which I, I thought that that version of Thor was much better. Like, when you go back and watch the first Thor movie, it is a Shakespearean story, and it is it is fantastic, and I, I love the first Thor film. I think there's a lot of really good stuff in it when it comes to character development for Thor, when it comes to just how he portrayed the character, but now all of that has gone completely out the window. Sometimes I felt like a security guard for the team, Hemsworth admitted. I would read everyone else's lines and go, oh, they got way cooler stuff. They're having more fun. What's my character doing? It was always about, you've got the wig on, you've got the muscles, you got the costume. Where's the lightning, he added. Yeah, I'm part of this big thing, but I'm probably pretty replaceable. Which is, I, I would argue that is absolutely not the case. To play a character like Thor, you have to be a certain caliber of actor. You have to be someone who is able to walk some very fine lines when it comes to playing a character that can be relatable to people. And I can... I, I definitely admit that, you know, they didn't always nail it when it comes to the Thor films. I thought that Ragnarok was terrible, which was another Taika Waititi film. Uh, I thought that one was honestly almost as bad as Love and Thunder for different reasons. So Vanity Fair contacted fellow Marvel star Robert Downey Jr. for his thoughts on Chris Hemsworth playing Thor, who wouldn't hear of such talk. First off, Thor as a character was super tricky to adapt, says Robert Downey Jr. Lots of implied limitations, but he and Kenneth Branagh figured out how to transcend, make him somehow relatable but godlike. Hemsworth is, in my opinion, the most complex psyche out of all of us Avengers. He's got wit and gravitas, but also such restraint, fire, and gentleness. And that's exactly what I was talking about with, you know, it's it's a fine line that you have to walk to play this character and do it well. And for the most part, I think Hemsworth did a pretty good job until he decided to, you know, well, him and the writers and the directors and all that decided to take the character into a completely just crazy direction. Following the release of Thor Love and Thunder, Hemsworth seemed to hint he's done with director Taika Waititi and said if he ever does the role again, it would have to be a new approach, not goofy and silly. So he realizes the mistakes that they have made, he sees the direction they have gone, and it is absolutely terrible. With all that being said, let me know what you think about what Chris Hemsworth says here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.